Good morning, y'all. I've been hesitating to start this video. I don't know why. Uh, I've got everything in order here. <clears throat> um, well, good morning and welcome to another journal with me, raw and unedited. I'm Danita Jackson and I wish I could do these videos live, but I need a thousand subscribers, which reminds me, subscribe, like, and share. Give me some love, bitches. Okay, um, after that like ridiculous introduction, I'm gonna go ahead and quickly just let you guys know that I have a Patreon page. I've mentioned it before, and I just wanted to say that if you go on to my Patreon page, some of the things that you can get for being a patron of Planet Danita is you can get physical items, literal physical items. So this is a little flower that I'm working on right now um, that I, uh, that I, you know, sort of designed, cut out, and then I painted. Well, actually, I painted it before because these are from my jelly plates. Um, so something that you would get as a Planet Danita subscriber is you might get um, an actual physical item. So, I mean, I don't know if you consider what I do to be art, but if you do... <laughs> you get these for pretty cheap. So anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this over here to dry. And I can work on that a little bit later. Um, so you guys that have been following along with Journal With Me have seen um, this little thing here, which is a journal card. And a lot of people will make journal entries on the back of this, or they will make lists, which I have done. Um, my 10 favorites hibiscus, dandelion, clover, daisy. Uh, when I'm finished with this physical object, it will be given away on my Patreon page. And uh, so, yeah, this is uh, some of the things that I give away. Um, this is another little item. It's like what I call a journal pocket. Um, it's got this beautiful image and then on the back you can journal. And then you can, I also slip things inside. This is obviously, you guys, I'm like obsessed with circles. Uh, I have this and I've got the, that envelope that is completely filled with circles that I'm obsessed with. So obviously that's one of my obsessions. Uh, another item that you might get is what I call the multi-use journal. Uh, this one's called the Devotee, which I have a, I've, I have a whole video about um, this one. And um, y'all, it's just like a really nice, like sort of uh, way to get your morning started. Um, you can use this to start making your Bible. This is my Bible um, that I've been working on. Uh, it's not, as I mentioned before, a Jesus Bible, um, but uh, it has um, Jesuit values. It has the philosophy of yoga in it. I've got a lot of Buddhist stuff in it. I've got, <laughs> yeah, this is my um, this is my visual representation of the goddess. Uh, so. Um, and this, um, you can also get uh, digital downloads of this. So uh, all of these come in either the physical item or the digital download. And then there's one other layer, which is the um, altered photocopy. So that'll be where I would photocopy this book if you wanted, to, for example, to have this book. And then I would alter the photocopy. So I would draw on it and paint on it and whatnot as I do in my journal. Um, so, uh, something else that you also get on um, Planet Danita uh, Patreon is you can get advice. So, if you yourself are trying to explore creativity, um, I can give you some advice. And then the other thing that I give out are my secrets. Yes, that's right, my secrets. You get to, uh, you get to read some secret journal entries um, that sort of let you into my secret, secret process. All right, great. Well, um, that's sort of my introduction to this 20-minute uh, uh, session of journal with me. So I'm going to go ahead and set a timer, as I do all the time. There we go. I started the timer. All righty. So, um, yeah, journal with me. I mean, this like basically this is about me like kind of flipping through my journal and finding places where I can... Um, you know, sort of do uh, some changes to the journal or add to the journal or whatever. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm flipping through my journal to find opportunities. You know what I might do? I might go to the last page that I've written on and flip through. That might be a good thing. 
need to do because I always get like hung up. Oh my God, we're running out of time. Okay, so the last page, oh yeah, you guys. You know, I've been trying to work on this textured look and I, and I have to say I'm not 100% um, happy with this. So uh, I, I just don't know what to do. Actually, I do know what to do. I'm going to take my wonderful Posca pens you guys know I have an obsession with these pens. Posca, please sponsor me. Please send me some pens. I freaking love these pens, y'all. I'm sure they're really, really bad for the environment. What can you do? I want Posca to tell me they're not. <laughs> so, what are we going to talk about today, folks? I mean... One thing that I did is I, I sort of watched this um, video. Uh, it was kind of like 75 things that successful people do kind of video. <laughs> and they interviewed all of these CEOs. It wasn't 75, y'all. That's hyperbole. But anyway, they interviewed all of these CEOs uh, of in success, quote unquote successful people. And I kind of discounted um, the ones that were guys just because I always do because I want to listen to the ladies first because I'm a lady um, so anyway I went straight to the lady and one thing she said is like oh if you're having trouble sleeping ban the phone and the iPad from your bedroom y'all I've been having so much trouble sleeping I mean I, ha I haven't had a good night's sleep since 1983 to be honest with you um, so it's like, I, uh, am down with that. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to ban the, um, the phone from my bedroom and the iPad from my bedroom. Uh, so we have done that. And I have to say, like in the past, we've done it for only for three days. And I have to say that, um, it seems to be working. I mean, maybe it's a bit of a placebo effect. I don't know. I, I don't know, y'all. Purple and green, does that actually, like, if I look at the color wheel, I'm probably going to be horrified, but I've got the purple there, and then I put the pink, and then I put the green, so I'm just going to go for it, and I don't think it looks that bad, to be honest with you. Um, do you guys know anything about color theory? You know, obviously, I have some instinctive, um, understanding of color theory and I've been studying it you know like for the past couple of years but it hasn't been integrated I don't think into my head I'm just not sure so it's like purple green and pink the thing about this though is that the pink and purple go together and the green and pink go together so I think it kind of works oh my god that, that's my lamp y'all these are so freaking old there we go oh no 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 Can y'all hear that buzzy noise? Anyway, okay, so, and I think I'll use maybe a darker green. I mean, the whole point of, like, sort of experimenting with these things is that I wanted to introduce a bit of texture into the journal. And, um, but it, it got really super messy, y'all. Uh, and I think I told, talked to you guys before, but what I did is I started with the um, Liquitex uh, Heavy Gel. And I did this one, remember? But I just used the gel, and so it like came out like this, which is kind of gross. And I tried to fix it by, by spraying some ink. Y'all, I didn't buy any of this stuff <laughs> except for like these and this. All of this stuff is like literally seven years old from when I had my exhibition seven years ago. Oh my God, I can't believe it's seven years ago. Look it up, y'all. Shalmatia, a fictional place down the road. Anyway, I was not happy with that. So I started to experiment, like I said, with, um, you know, mixing the gel with uh, paints. I think I just need to layer more and eventually this is going to be fine but eventually uh, but before it was like this page against this page and it wasn't working because like of the colors that I mentioned before so you've got purple pink and green going on this spread and then here you've got like this yellow red and blue so it just wasn't working at all and there's was a bit of orange in there too so speed 
speaking of these, uh, one thing that I like to do with these, that a lot of people like to do, I didn't make this up, uh, it's just to like spray. And I'm especially gonna spray on this side because I wanted to de-emphasize the pink. Okay. Such a mess, but I love it. All right, now like we have to sit here while this freaking, while this, Okay, I suppose while this dries a little bit, we can work in my, or we can talk a little bit more about what I have in my Bible. I think we talked about these yesterday, and then we went on to the prayers, and then I said, like, okay, I said the universe prayer and the Lord's prayer, in which I said I changed the pronoun to they, them, and it totally works, and then, oh, Here's another prayer that I like to say, which is, well, some of you will recognize this prayer. Lord and Lady, spirits of nature, elements around me, bless me as I move through the world today. May I bring joy and tranquility to every life I touch. May my actions bring only harmony to the world. May I heal pain and soothe anger. May I create joy and balance as I walk my path. Support me and guide me, spirits of nature, this day and all days ahead of me. This I ask of you as an esoteric, solitary practitioner, and thank you for your many blessings. The thing about this prayer, y'all, is if you know, and I mean, like if you follow me on social media, you will see that I am like an angry motherfucking bitch. Well, I'm not motherfucking because I don't fuck mothers anymore. Um, so, uh, but, um, you will know that I'm so angry. So, um, I'm not being a hypocrite, hypocritical here by, by reading or by praying. I'm, I'm praying, asking the spirits of nature, asking the universe and asking the Lord, they, them to please, um, come to me and help me, uh, to walk through this life in such a way that I can be happy and proud and to take away that anger um, and to actually turn it into action, I suppose. Okay. I, I don't say this prayer to St. Anne too much, um, but uh, I guess, um, yeah, I don't say that one too much. Uh, okay, here's one <clears throat> that came from Tara Birch, who's like a, a Buddhist practitioner, and uh, she says, please don't believe your thoughts to please be here now and to please remember love. And so little asterisk here and asterisk here, thoughts are real, but not the truth. I am not my thoughts. Thoughts are never reality. So this is really like a good, uh, a good thing. So if, you, if you're having like bad thoughts and you think, you know, sort of you're a bad person or whatever, just stop. Don't believe your thoughts. Please don't believe your thoughts. Come back to the present and remember love. Um, and then another uh, two things that in here is like it takes 1.5 minutes, an emotion only lasts for 1.5 minutes. So if you're angry and frightened or have a negative emotion and you can't seem to get rid of it, you can tell yourself this emotion will only last for 1.5 minutes and I can handle that. I can handle 90 seconds of this. Okay, and not like, you know, explode or set something on fire. And the second thing is never underestimate the power of your caring. So, and then here's a, 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 a quote that I look at. It's too late to quit. And this comes from my um, wonderful friend, Sherry Myers um, at, at Sheridan Productions. It's too late to quit. And she has a fantastic book called It's Too Late to Quit. I'll, I'll remember, I'll try to remember to link to it down below. And then um, this is one of the quotes from her book, Let, or a couple of, quotes from her book, let us lash out with love. Keep dreaming. Make faith your partner and your lover. Actually, you feel blessed. You already got this. I mean, I just loved that book. It was just so wonderful. And it really, really, as a, per as a person who started a little bit late in life in terms of trying to find out what she was interested in. I mean, I went to film school at 35, y'all. So um, I think this really speaks to me that it's like really too late uh, to quit. And then here's something that came from my own, um, 
my own personal higher power, uh, which I can talk about later, but um, you are perfect just the way you are. Change, however, is not optional. So I guess this, what this means is that I am perfect, but I'm constantly changing. And uh, so, so perfection is maybe not something that we, it, it, maybe it's not the end. You know, maybe like we are perfect individuals that are constantly changing and the change, within the change is the perfection. Anyway, I don't know, it's something to think about. So let's see, oh, the five moral precepts. We'll just read this because I see my things have, um, I see my things have dried. So uh, we restrain from harming living things. That's why I'm a vegetarian because it's against my religion to harm living things. Uh, restrain from taking what is not given, uh, so stealing. Restrain from sexual misconduct, um, however you might, you know, uh, however you might define that. It could be manipulation. I mean, uh, other, uh, you know, it's however you define it. Uh, restrain from lying or gossip. That's this one that I have trouble with. Uh, gossip in particular, not, not lying. Um, and uh, restrain from taking intoxicating substances. I mean, uh, uh, I don't, that's my biggest, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, alrighty, so, so no prayer for today. <laughs> Let's go back to the journal. Okay, so now, now this is looking pretty good. These pages are looking pretty good. As I told you, I inserted this page and I used um, masking tape to do that. I like using masking tape to insert pages because then it's quite temporary and I can take it apart if I want to. And sometimes I do cannibalize things from one journal and put it into the next journal. It's a process. Um, I imagine like my, um, well, not my, uh, like it's my, not my children because I don't have children. I'm child free by choice, but I imagine, you know, say, sort of my niece's ch child, uh, Camelia Bean, um, I imagine her maybe um, looking through this stuff and uh, finding some kind of comfort in it. My depression, I like you. Good relationships, think happy thoughts. So, <coughs> oh goodness. Yeah, my mom was telling me, it was kind of sad. So my niece is pregnant. I'm child free by choice. Uh, and she's pregnant with Camellia Bean. Camellia Bean. I know the sex already, it's a girl, and this is our fourth generation of girls. And um, my mom told me recently that she wrote a letter to Camellia Bean just in case, you know, she doesn't make it. Uh, so that was kind of sad to me. But, you know, um, my mom is ever the pregnant, <laughs> ever pragmatic sometimes, very pragmatic and sometimes very emotional. So anyway, um, she asked me like, oh, maybe you should, uh, or she suggested maybe I should do the same, which was quite, mm, what are you saying, mom? <laughs> um, but I thought, you know what, I don't have to, because I have all these journals, and I think if Camellia Bean wants to know me, then uh, it's pretty easy to know me, like from the journals, from the videos, from, you know, I mean, I've, I've been online for, Oh my God, since 1993, so, fuck. I know I was using this pen the other day. God damn it. Oh, <laughs> I put it, it's not this one, it's this one, which is the same exact pen. This one is going to have to maybe go into the my dead pen project. Yes, I do have a dead pen project where I keep all of my dead pens and I document where they came from. I mean, that is kind of OCD. I'm not OCD. I don't know what it is, y'all. All I have to say is Andy Warhol did the same thing. So fuck off if anybody thinks it's crazy. Speaking of crazy. <laughs> No, I think I, I feel pretty good. Like, I feel like, oh, maybe I should just, you know, track that I, that I feel pretty good. Uh, what's today? The 23rd. So put a big smile. No, it's the 20, no, it's the 25th. Just look at anything. I'm just looking at the calendar. smile to 
so I'm feeling pretty good, although I do have a sore throat, which is a little bit scary in the time of COVID. Um, yeah, a little bit scary in the time of COVID. Oh, there's something else you got on Planet Tanita. Okay, oh, what's this? I really don't have much to say today, y'all. It's like I, um, you know, uh, I've been just trying to get a good night's sleep. I've just been trying to focus really on um, the good stuff. Um, I went to Crescent City Park yesterday with Patrick, and we were hitting some uh, tennis balls against the wall out there. That's always really fun, but it was like super packed, right? I mean, our city has moved into phase three, and I'm like, uh, so what's different from, you know, uh, when we were in phase one? Nothing. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Anyway, I, I, we went over there to um, Crescent Park to hit balls. I'm fine with that, but it started to get really super crowded, and I started to freak out a bit, and then, so then we, you know, so then I'm like, let's take off. So we took off, because I just don't like it when it's crowded, because people are breathing on each other and whatever. And then we come back towards home and Marie's bar is just packed with people outside, not physically distancing. I don't mind people outside drinking beers at the bars, but if they're not physically distancing, what the hell people, you're spreading shit around if you're not physically distancing. So anyway, you know, some days are good, some days are bad during the pandemic. I still don't understand what, I mean, and I, and I guess what I'm, I guess the point I'm making is that people are getting like um, bored with it, you know, and so in their minds, like, oh, well, the virus, you know, is gone because we've moved to phase, to phase three, but that's, that's really not the case. The virus is not gone. Nothing has changed. The only reason why we've been able to move to phase three is because people have been physically distancing and wearing the mask, which they weren't doing at Marie's bar last night, obviously they were drinking. Um, you know, uh, that's why we've been able to move to phase three. So don't stop using the mask. Don't stop physically distancing. Don't be stupid. Oh, it's so hard. I mean, like seriously, oh, I just, I hate to see what's gonna happen in the fall. Well, we are in the fall and we're starting to uptick, aren't we? Anyway, these are little trees uh, that I have drawn myself in my other journal, uh, in a previous journal, and um, I photocopied them, and now I'm just kind of pasting them down here because I think they really work. Like, they have the same color palette, yay. Um, but uh, what I want to say about these trees is these were, I was, I had uh, checked out a book from the library uh, which was about drawing and it had all these little graphic um, drawings like this and just kind of showed you how to do it. So I actually filled my journal, uh, that journal with lots of like stuff like this. So there were like flowers uh, and trees and stuff like that, um, you know, fruit and whatever. So it was all of these, it was really nice. And I guess my point I was trying to make because the alarm is about to go off, but the point I was trying to make is that the library rocks. Yes, libraries, yes. So if we're ever losing faith in society, if we think democracy is crumbling, just look to the libraries. Uh, look to the libraries, y'all. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna continue uh, working on this. Uh, I won't subject you to any more of my uh, mental health issues this morning. <laughs> um, and alarm's going off. So thanks for spending a little bit more than 20 minutes with me today journaling. And I hope you guys uh, journaled as well, journaled along with me. Um, please uh, join me. I'm going to try to do these every morning. We'll see how it goes. Probably won't do them on the mornings that I film, uh, although I did the last time. But um, 
yeah, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and thanks for the love, bitches. <clears throat> I'm drinking black coffee today.